Well, that time Garrett didn't want to stand up, so obviously he couldn't wall flatten. Tis the holy day of St. Edgar. Doth it surprise you? Twit a greater shame to stand missing. Thou speakest sense. By the... Something? Twas not mine eyes. Thou seest too. I'm sorry this is proving so difficult. It's eminently possible. I did it my first try on my last practice run, so... Sometimes the game just decides to be difficult. You know how it is. Tis the holy day of St. Edgar. Doth it surprise you? Would be a greater shame to stand missing. Thou speakest sense, but more and more rare doth he come amongst us. His time is spent out in the city. The inspector seeketh out sinners and criminals. He canst not do that among our brethren, for who such wouldst he find here? <clears throat> what is it that I see there? Well, I got past him, but then I guess I got too close to that guy when I was lifting the purse and he saw me again so I'll just wait and lift the pur well be a little more careful the inspector seeketh out sinners and criminals he canst not do that among our brethren for who such wouldst he find here ah, tis true but tis sad that one of our brethren be such a stranger Wouldst that he pursue his prayers with such fervor as he pursues his investigation? When he doth pursue the wicked, he bringeth the justice of the builder to the city. But I wouldst that he would set aside his obsession. This talk of a hag is but children's rhymes and nonsense. What? Who hath dared to steal from me? So his purse has 50 gold in it. It brings our total to 71%. And with that, we are ready to move into the factory. Now, usually, he positions himself in such a way that we can just green alert him when we open the door, which is fine. My ears verily do hear something. So the door is closing behind me as I enter the hammer factory. I will see you in there. <coughs> So once we're in here... Why dost thou labor away so late into the night, upon the night of St. Edgar? Shouldst not thou be at prayer? Wouldst that I might, but more of our brethren doth arrive, and Roland doth instruct me that machines must be ready for their use. Brother Roland doth ask too much. I see him not. Working beside thee at thy task. Tis true. Yet our most blessed Saint Edgar didst not earn his glory in meditation or rest. As we follow his example, we earn our place in the Builder's plan. Tis the same for me. I walk these halls with naught but the hymns of the Builder to keep me company. Just one little side note you might have noticed there. That was a sound cue from the original game they pl they put those in here sometimes and i really like it when they do so with that on this table there's another gas bomb as well as something to read all that is metal is not of the builder alone as all that is wood is not of the trickster alone wood can be shaped and carved so that it serveth as part of a great house for the master builder even iron canst serve contrary to its nature for the glory and service of false gods. If thou doubtest these words, turn thine eye only to the ruin of Soulforge, where the builder himself smote down the workings of the heretic Karis and his wicked crafts. So you have to be careful moving around in here because people could see you through the doors. Inside this chest, there are three broadhead arrows. Once you get those, you want to sneak on over here. Inside the room where the two of them talked, there's a note that I want to read before I do anything else.
Aha! Ah. Well, I guess that's randomized. He usually walks all the way into the room where the worker is and has his endpoint there before he turns around and resumes his little patrol. So. I guess the lesson here is Hello. always be careful. Be well. Oh, there he goes. I knew he went in there. Build a leap against the dark towards the light, fire of the forge, wolf of the chalice, hammer of the guard. I'll wait till the worker's back is turned and just read the note. Brethren, be all of thee reminded, none may use the stamping machine, save they are permitted by Chief Worker Roland. Shouldst thou have permission, thou mayst obtain an unstamped gear from the storage area, but be sure to place the object squarely in the center of the machine, and be wary the sparks and shards when the machine doth activate. So that gives us a note, which tells us that unstamped gears are located in the factory storage area. Awesome. So now we want to head through here. Head down here to the stamping machine. And as we head into this room, there's another priest to pickpocket. Here at the walking corpse charnel fall. furnace. So he's going to fry a zombie inside the charnel furnace. Brethren, be all of thee reminded, none may use the stamping machine, save they are permitted by Chief Worker Roland. Shouldst thou have permission, thou mayst obtain an unstamped gear from the storage area, but be sure to place the object squarely in the center of the machine, and be wary the sparks and shards when the machine doth activate. So he's going to watch the zombie fry. I'm going to grab his wand while he does. What? Who hath dared to steal from me? So when he turns off the furnace, it'll open the door. So my favorite place to drop the wand is right here by that switch, as soon as he walks over to the other cell. Doth someone prefer the dark? <sighs> so with that, head into the furnace. You can get a jade ring here, worth 50, brings my total to 73%. Now, although you can get through the furnace, I actually find it easier just to sneak directly across the room because there's a rat just outside the grate, which you kind of have to run over or through to get by him. And doing that, the rat will squeal and can alert the priest. So... I like to head straight across. And he just kind of goes back and forth, cell to cell to furnace. So get through here when you have a good chance. Grab this candlestick, worth 50, brings me to 75%. Read this note. Brother Roland, praise be, thou and High Priest Greedus hath secured the chalice in the factory. I have destroyed the stamped gear as thou instructed. Another canst be made in the stamping machine, but e'en a stamped gear is not without High Priest Greedus' holy symbol to open the cage. Both must be used to activate the mechanism. Thus, while the symbol rests in High Priest Greedus' chambers, surely our relics can be no safer. Brother Thorgrim. Inspector Drept. We'll clear Drept's office now. It's just right, left, left, right. Or, no, it's not. It's right, left, up, down. My mistake. 
We should be able to open it with no alerts. Get in and close it, same way. Once we're in here, we're safe. So let's see what we have. We've got reading. Inspector Drept's notes. Mine investigation in truth continues apace into years long gone. More deaths hath I learned of that fit the pattern. The city guards care for naught beyond the tips of their noses, so no connection didst they see. In a death thirty years past, the skin of the victim was destroyed or removed. Another case was six years later, and the report says only that the body was mutilated, though it does denote a bent and aged woman was seen nearby. He's got another silver candlestick on his shelf, worth 50, brings me to 77%. Inside his chest, there are... There's one gold co or one silver coin, two gold coins, and a flash bomb. 50, 75, 75, bring my total to 84%, plus the flash bomb. So I'll close that. There's a sign on his wall that says, Laurel, there shalt be a reckoning. And under his desk is another thing to read. Journal of Inspector Drept. Tis another winter gone by, and I hath found naught more of the hag. Couldst it have been mine imagination? Twas so long ago, mine memory's dim. Couldst the hag have been but a figment? No. No. I cannot doubt these beliefs, for none but me follow them. Laurel, mine dear friend, wast killed, as so many others hath been in the years since, and if I do not seek justice, then there shalt be none. The crimes I pursue, surely they are more than children's rhymes and rumors. I will not turn aside. So now we'll open this door. Shut it and head this way. We need to cross over to the storage area, which is easier to do than you might think. There's only one Hammerite patrolling down here. So he'll come and seem to stare right at us, but if we're wall flattened like this, he won't alert. You see another priest up there. We'll deal with him later. This machine is a transform regulator. Turning off the lights would bust supreme, but we don't need to. As long as we flatten this wall and are careful not to be detected, no one patrols into the storage room. So. First, I'm going to grab the unstamped gear off the shelf, and the flash bomb. Oops. That was a mistake. Anyway, there's the unstamped gear on the shelf, and then on that little end table, there's one flash bomb and two broadhead arrows. Then on that big shelf, bigger shelf, there's one oil flask, two silver nuggets, and something to read. And finally, inside this locked chest, there are four more broadhead arrows. I'm gonna get everything. Oil flask. The oil flask bursts on impact, creating a puddle of oil. Opponents who move over the oil will slip and fall. Silver nuggets are 100 each. Bring my total to 91%. And they completed an objective, which I'll look at in a moment. It's just the 90% loot objective. Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 112. The chisel is but naught, save thou hast a hammer. The hammer is but naught, save thou stretch forth thine arm. The arm is but naught, save for thy will to serve the builder. If the builder takes thy coin, dost thou renounce his work to beg on the street? If the builder crushes the walls that guard thee, dost thou flee to sleep in the rain? If the builder slays thine offspring, dost thou slay thyself? Guard not that which thou hast made for thyself, more than the faith that burns in thy heart. So, we have completed the objective to steal at least 90% of the loot, 91% stolen. So I'm going to wait for the patroller to cycle again, 
and then get the arrows out of this chest. I should be okay right here. Right, left, left, right. And then you can go back to the wall once the lock is open. From the wall, you can open the chest. I get one, two, three. And I would say usually four arrows. And close the chest. Ran too much. So if it's not obvious, we want to wait until he's at the end of that patrol and just slip out of the storage area behind him. There we go. So we need to sneak back past the charnel furnace to the stamping machine. Bad timing. Okay, so once you get in here, back to here, just walk up to the machine and use it. Garrett will do the rest automatically. When it's done, grab your stamped gear right out of the center. Once you grab the stamped gear, we've completed the objective to acquire an unstamped gear in the factory, then stamp it using the stamping machine, and we got a new objective to attach the stamped gear and the holy symbol to the mechanism protecting the chalice. So now we need to sneak past here one more time. Back inside this room, we want to head up these stairs now, when we have a good chance to do so. I think it wise to wait till you see the priest and then follow him in. I'll pickpocket him once I get up there after him. Of course, now we've got the Hammerite coming over here. We don't need to be careful of him as well. But he should turn away soon enough. Build a leap against the dark towards the light, fire of the forge, watch with the chalice hammer of the guard. So with his wand on the right side, I'm just gonna wait here and grab it as he heads back down that direction. I'll leave it right there on his patrol route. Did I see rightly? Oh man, I thought the whole area was shadowed, but I got too close to the edge. I just wanted him to remain far enough away for me to get through the door to the reliquary without a green alert. Uh, 
Oh good, I'll be able to do it. Come on, G. That was dumb. All the right clicking in the world and Garrett didn't grab the wand. Let's try that again. Better this time. Get the wand, fool boy. There. Someone has taken my wand. Tis an exit. So now. We can head into the reliquary without comment from Homeboy, which is what I wanted all along. Being in here is worth a real save. So up top, inside this chest, there are two oil flasks. And then... Signage says, Suspension cage. The chalice should be kept suspended away from the sullied earth and in greater safety. May be lowered only by permission. So as we move down here, we see these mechanisms and another sign. Same thing, suspension cage. So just activate these two things. Put the holy symbol in there. Greetings, brother. You'll notice that in both cases, you can't uh, interact with it again. And then put your stamped gear right there. So that, so that completes the objective to attach the stamped gear and the holy symbol to the mechanism protecting the chalice. The point I was making is that we can't raise the suspension cage again, so that doesn't matter for Supreme Ghosting. But as we head to the cage, inside there are two silver candlesticks, 50 each, bring my total to 94%. There's a gold bell worth 150, brings my total to 100%, and... The chalice. That's probably too much to hope for that no one misses it. The Builder's Chalice. So that, of course, completes the objective to find and steal the Builder's Chalice. All we have to do now is get back to the front courtyard. It's easiest to do that by heading down these stairs. I thought it sounded like he was too close to the door. <clears throat> Just wait so you can time the exit so nobody green alerts to the doors opening and closing. Hello, be well. Those who adorn themselves with God and finery. I think he heard it. Still. I think twas nothing after all. Yep. Recognize that pause and head turn is the sign of a green alert. So let's wait even a little bit longer. Try it now. Perfect. So if we can slip back into the first room. Actually, it's not that great a place Vigilance to be. Is our shield that protects us from our squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a pa Greetings, brother. I rather love that because you might recognize it as something the hammers said to themselves in Thief Gold. Vigilance is our shield, blah, blah, blah. 
So we want to get up those stairs to make our escape. So just wait until the worker's back is turned and creep over here. And get up the stairs. Can usually slip in behind him without too much trouble. Once you're up top, you're good to go. Head out back to the cathedral grounds and I'll see you there. I realize that even though I get a gap and I have to hit record again, it's instantaneous for you, so I don't know why I keep saying I'll see you there. Anyway, here we emerge on a balcony that we couldn't get to before because this gate is locked. But we can open it, reclose it, and we find ourselves right where we got in. So wait for the front courtyard guard to patrol away, and then we'll descend the same way we initially came up. It's important to successfully steer Garrett away from the pipe and land on the box or on the stone instead. I failed at that task just then, as you could no doubt see. Stone. There we go. Much better. And grass. Now we can run along the grass until we get to the end of the mission. Now that I have the chalice, I'm one step closer to the books in the Keeper Library. Those prophecies had better be worth the trouble. My little raid isn't going to endear me to the hammers. So that's that. Let's look at our stats. Difficulty expert, time elapsed 38 minutes, loot stolen 2850 out of 2850, 100%. Times caught 0, opponents blackjack 0, opponents killed 0, stealthy kills 0, non-combatants killed 0, locks picked 5, pockets picked 7, bodies discovered 0, damage taken 0, healing taken 0. Total for game. Now, you don't get a stat screen at the end of the city section, so this will include all of our missions and all of our city street sections. Hmm. Time elapsed 150 minutes. Loot stolen 5875. Times caught 0. Opponents blackjacked 1. That's the innkeeper in checking in, cashing out. Opponents killed 0. Stealthy kills 0. Non-combatants killed 0. Locks picked 25. Pockets picked 12. Bodies discovered 2. I imagine that must be the corpses from the melee in Stone Market proper when the Cothran's Armory thug flipped out and started killing civilians. Damage taken 0. Healing taken 0. That's it. Let's look at our final gear tally. I'm up to 10 healing potions, 13 flash bombs, 3 gas bombs, 3 oil flasks, blackjack dagger, 25 water, 30 broadhead, 2 gas, 3 fire, 8 moss, 5 noisemaker, mechanical eye, lock picks, velvet bag, builder's chalice, and a bunch of keys. And then loot wise, I have 3725 that I'm holding on to. So that's that. I will hit continue, I will save in Garrett's apartment, and talk to you a little bit more then. So now we've arrived in the city day two. I'm going to end the video here, I'm just going to save and quit, but... That, of course, completes the objective to steal the chalice from St. Edgar's Church in Stone Market proper. So now we need to use the South Quarter well to enter the Pagan Tunnels and steal the paw from them. Most of our notes have disappeared, but the note about our landlord hiding blackmail money under the sewer grate is still there. That means, of course, the purse is there every day, and we're still restricted from attacking the keepers or getting caught doing anything bad to them. So, I'm gonna hit sa a real save right here inside Garrett's building. We've accomplished a perfect thief in St. Edgar's Eve. Nothing we did busted the ghost. There were a few places where Supreme was busted. We had to bust it getting in and out of the barracks. We couldn't skip the barracks because there was special loot in there and probably too much loot to skip just in terms of the 90% objective anyway. I took another Supreme bust getting into the factory, although now that I think about it, I could probably avoid that if I jumped to the second floor entrance from the balcony, but 
that doesn't bother me too much because the mission remains unsupremable due to the barracks. But that's it. So we came very close on that mission. I will see you guys next time for The City Day 2. That's it for now. Bye-bye.